right, thanks for coming, everyone. Um, really happy to be making this announcement. As uh, we were leading up to the trade deadline, we'd identified uh, the area that we could most improve our team as being by the acquisition of a top four right shot defenseman. And very quickly, we targeted David Savard as being the best fit for that role. We had the chance to uh, see David play against our team during the last two playoff runs, get to see how, how hard he is to play against, to see how tough he is and, and heavy he plays and how reliable he is defensively. And we knew that he's the type of player that you want on your team for a long playoff run. And my thought was, if there's any way of acquiring his services, I was going to be very aggressive in trying to make it happen, knowing I'd have to be very aggressive if I wanted to be able to, uh, to trade for, for David. The reality is I didn't necessarily expect us uh, to be able to pull this off, uh, truth be told. Uh, I'm certainly glad that we've been able to, to, to do it and uh, add David to our group. And I was certainly hoping we'd be able to, but I didn't really expect us to be able to pull this off, uh, namely because there were two big obstacles. The first obstacle was Columbus might not trade him. And if Columbus decided not to trade him, that was an obstacle I wasn't going to be able to overcome. The second obstacle was we didn't have any cap space. And in our business, we, you know, in putting your, your hockey team together, you, you're managing four types of assets. You're managing you know, players, draft picks, cap space, and cash. And you, you, your job as a manager uh, is to use those assets uh, to, to assemble the best hockey team possible. And in order to have a good hockey team, you need good players and you need a lot of good players. So what we essentially did today is that we used our draft picks to purchase cap space to acquire a good player and squeeze him onto our team. And I know that we're going to be a harder out now come playoff time because David Savard is going to be wearing our jersey. When we talked last year at the trade deadline, I mentioned when you're a buyer at the deadline, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. And as I was contemplating this trade leading up to it coming to fruition, my thought was, if I have the opportunity to acquire David Savard and I pass up on that opportunity and then, you know, the playoffs start and eventually we fail in our quest for a championship because our right side D wasn't good enough. That was going to hurt. That's going to hurt a lot. It is so hard to win a championship. It's really, really hard to win the Stanley Cup. And as for any great feat, if, if you're going to accomplish something great, you kind of have to put yourself out there at some point, and you have to be willing to make sacrifices. And we ask our players and our coaches and their families to make sacrifices in order to help us win a championship. Uh, and we do that on a daily basis. And we're asking even more of them this year under the circumstances. If there was an opportunity for me to add a good player to our group, to give it a little bit of a boost, I felt like I owed it to them to make that happen. And that's why we're here right now.